Hey there smart home enthusiasts and welcome back to the official Yolink YouTube channel. Today we're excited to showcase a groundbreaking addition to your smart home toolkit, the Yolink Leak Stop One Channel Leak Detector. Whether you're worried about leaks in your bathroom, laundry room, or even near your hot water heater, this device has you covered. Keeping your home protected from water damage even in the toughest conditions. The Leak Stop is more than just a leak detector. It's a comprehensive water management and protection system designed for a single appliance or fixture. While Yolink offers whole home leak detection and water monitoring solutions, this product is intended to be installed on a single appliance or fixture, such as a washing machine, water heater, sink, or as we're gonna show today, a toilet. Now one quick note, a Yolink hub is required for full functionality. This allows the device to integrate seamlessly with your smart home system. The leak stop not only detects leaks, but also will shut off the water to that appliance automatically. It also keeps you informed and protected, even if your hub loses connection to the internet. And with its advanced monitoring, customizable alerts, and smart home integrations, this device ensures your home is always one step ahead of potential water disasters. Before we dive into all the features, you can check the description down below for timestamps to navigate into sections that you're most interested in. Or you can use the chapters down at the bottom of the video. So let's check out what the Leak Stop has to offer. Now let's quickly look at what makes the Leak Stop a standout device. And we'll be going more in depth into all these features later throughout the video. So first and foremost, it has automatic water shutoff, meaning this instantly stops water flow to the installed device when it detects a leak. It also has internal leak detection rules, meaning the built-in intelligence allows the device to function independently of the Yolink hub. So even if the flow stop gets disconnected from your hub, it will continue to monitor water flow, detect leaks, and execute any internal rules to go ahead and stop the water if there's a leak detected. There's also flow-based alerts, so you can monitor the water usage and set thresholds to receive alerts or turn off the water automatically if the flow exceeds your limits. So for example, this would be great on a toilet that has a tendency to continue running or get stuck. You will automatically get notified if it runs for too long and have the option of shutting it off or go and fix it. So included in the box is a external leak sensor. This is great to put in specific places that might be prone to leaks like under an appliance. You can also use this to detect an overflow in a sink or bathtub. Of course, all Yolink products have great smart home integrations. You can seamlessly integrate with Alexa, Google Assistant, and IFTTT for easy remote control and automations. You can even integrate it with Home Assistant for more powerful automations and integrating with other devices. The system also tracks water usage through the Yolink app and provides detailed insights. You can also customize schedules, which lets you program times when the water can flow or should be shut off automatically. There's also a built-in alarm sounder, so if there is a leak detected and it does shut off water, it can set off the internal alarm, letting you know that there's a problem without even having to check your phone. And if you're looking for even more control, there's a two-channel version coming out in the first quarter of 2025. This will allow you to monitor and control two separate water lines with a single device. Great for sinks or washing machines. So with these capabilities and more, the Leak Stop provides peace of mind whether you're home, away, or even offline. Now speaking of offline, one of the most impressive aspects of the Leak Stop is its offline functionality. This isn't just a regular smart home product, it's a robust solution that can operate even in a challenging situation. So if the hub happens to be disconnected due to a power loss or other event, the Leak Stop's internal rules will ensure that it can detect leaks and shut off water on its own. This way your home remains protected even if it loses communication with the hub. In addition, if your hub is online but your internet's down, it'll still work with other Yolink devices. So for example, you can set up an automation where the link stop will actually trigger an external Yolink siren to alert everyone nearby, or using a smart plug to flash a connected lamp or light fixture as a visual warning. This combination of independence and seamless device-to-device -device communication ensures you're always covered in every scenario, from power outages to internet disruptions. So before we dive into installation, let's take a look at what comes in the box. So included, you'll get the link stop itself, which is the main unit, and this is actually pre-installed with batteries, so it's ready to go. You've got the leak sensor, which connects directly to the leak stop and gives you the ability to place a sensor in a hard to reach location to ensure there's no water there. And it comes with a small quarter inch flexible hose. This makes it easy to install in most locations. Now Yolink has designed the leak stop with simplicity in mind. All you need to do is connect it to your water line and pair it with your Yolink hub using the app. Now it's always a good idea to go ahead and pair your Yolink device to your hub before installing it. We'll cover that in the next section. Now one thing to note, depending on your water lines, you might need to get an extra flexible water line from your local home improvement store. If you have rigid water lines running from your supply to your fixture, 
you'll need an extra piece of flexible line to go from the shutoff valve to the leak stop. Then you can use the included quarter inch line to go from the leak stop to your fixture. This demo installation is for a toilet, but you can easily adapt these steps for washing machines or water heaters. So the first thing we need to do is determine which side's the inlet and the outlet. And you can do that by seeing the small arrow here that says water flow. So the left side's gonna be the inlet and the right side's gonna be the outlet. So for this first step, we're gonna take the leak stop and we're gonna connect the flexible line included in the box to the outlet side. Now you wanna make sure you use the appropriate size wrench to tighten this down and make it snug. Next up, we wanna turn off the water at the supply. Usually there's a valve connected close to the floor or the wall. We make sure to turn this off and then flush the toilet to drain all the water from the back tank. Now you won't get it all, so you're gonna to need to have a small bucket or towels lying around. Use this to capture any remaining water in the next step. Now we wanna carefully unscrew the supply line from the bottom of the toilet using your hands or pair of vice grips. Now if you're replacing a rigid supply line, make sure to unscrew the other side from the valve. Be very careful here so you don't end up turning the valve and causing damage. You can always use a second set of pliers or vice grips to hold it in place. Once you get the replacement line in place or you've disconnected the flexible line, go ahead and connect that to the inlet of the FlowSmart. Then we're gonna connect the outlet side to your toilet's tank connector and tighten it securely. Again, make sure to tighten it with the appropriate size wrench, but don't over tighten it. Next up, I recommend slowly turning on the water to make sure you check for leaks. If you do turn the water on and there's no leaks, but yet you're not seeing any water go into the toilet tank, you might need to manually open the valve by pressing the set button on the front of the leak stop. If you see water flowing into your toilet tank, great, you're all done with the installation. You can use the included zip ties to secure the leak stop to the toilet, or you can let it hang freely. Next, you want to install the leak sensor somewhere close to the supply line or the lowest spot in the area to ensure all leaks are detected. There you go, now you've got the leak stop installed. Let's head over to the Yolink app and see how to get it integrated. So now we're gonna cover the Yolink app and how to use the leak stop. So first thing we have to do, of course, is add the device to our hub. And that's as simple as pressing the scan button in the top right-hand corner and then scanning the QR code here on top of the device. Now from this screen, we can quickly change the name. So we're gonna call this one, call this one Master Bath. We also have the option to select which room we want it in and we can select it as a favorite so it shows up on our home screen. Next, we'll click Bind Device. Now don't worry, if you get a yellow triangle here, that just means the device hasn't been woken up and you can wake it up by simply pressing the set button. So now here on the main screen, we can see it added at the bottom left-hand corner here and at a glance, it's gonna tell you exactly how much water that's been consumed in the last day and the current meter reading, which is the total cumulative water that's gone through the device. You can also see the signal level at the top left-hand corner and the battery level at the top right hand. Then at the very bottom, you'll see a toggle switch. This lets us turn on and off the water valve inside of the device. And it asks for confirmation to make sure you actually wanna close the water. Now please note, due to battery saving settings, you can only turn on the valve from the app. You cannot turn it off manually. Of course, if the system detects a leak, it'll automatically shut it off, but you're unable to manually turn off the valve in the app. Now opening and closing the valve takes about seven to 10 seconds. So now we can click on the device and we'll go into more details. At the top, we're gonna to see exactly the current meter reading. Again, this is the cumulative meter reading of the device. We can see water usage today and detecting the number of flushes, which of course is the number of times that that particular thing has been cycled. So you have this connected to say your washing machine. This would show you how many times that it's filled the bowl of the washing machine. And at the bottom, we have a 24 hour and a total meter showing usage over time. Now, like all your link graphs, you can actually click on them and then you can click export to bring them into something like Excel to do more advanced analytics. From the screen, you can also select hourly, daily, or monthly usage. And then at the bottom, we have history, which is gonna show us any time the valve has been opened or closed. If we click the three dots, we can go to the detail screen where we can change different settings of the device. Again, we've got the name, the room, and favorite like we had before. We have access to history again, and we have historical measurement data, which is our charts like we saw before. Next up is the alert, which is where we can set up different alert strategies. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how Yolink does alarm strategies, I recommend you going back and watching our hub video, which takes you in depth into how each of these alarm strategies work. But for this one, I'm gonna set it to always, because I wanna get alert no matter what the time of day, if it does take an action. Below that, you can set if this is a continuous alarm, so it's gonna send you an alarm every so many minutes until you resolve the situation. So you can set this to any duration you want, or disable it. You can also enable or disable the onboard beep, indicating there's a problem. So if you turn this off, you won't hear the audible alarm on the device. 
Below that, we have the time, which is important for different rule sets. So if you want, I always recommend syncing this with your mobile device, which you can do by pressing the button right here. And it's gonna change the device to your current time zone and sync it to the time on your phone. Below that, we have information on the valve, which if it's open or closed, and valve maintenance. This is very important and a nice feature where it'll automatically actuate the valve closed and then open again to ensure that the device will function in an emergency. You can change whether you want it weekly or monthly and at what time or what date you want it to actually run. This is important because this keeps the device functional and ready for an emergency. Below that, we have the current water meter reading and advanced settings. So go to advanced settings. We can set things like our leak detection. When a leak is detected with the external leak sensor, whether or not you want it to automatically close the valve. For most folks, this should be on. Then below that are some of the onboard rules that we can set for it to monitor the water flow. So you can set maximum continuous water usage. This means how long until the system automatically shuts off. So for a toilet, this should be set for a couple of minutes. But something like a washing machine, you want to set it for a higher limit. The way this works is if whatever the threshold you set in here, 10 minutes, two minutes, whatever it is, if the system detects that water flowing for that long, it'll automatically shut off and send you an alert. You can also set maximum flushes in a day. This is great if you know a toilet only is gonna be flushed 10 times in a day and all of a sudden it flushes 30 times, maybe there's something wrong with the valve. So you can go in here and check this and it will automatically shut off water after a certain number of flushes. Or you can set the entire maximum water flow that you want for the device during a day. So again, if you knew that your device only uses 10 gallons of water in a day, you could set this at 30 and then if it exceeds that amount, it's gonna shut off, indicating that there's some sort of problem. This is great because even if a leak isn't actually detected, you can still take action on events and not waste water. And then finally below that, we have the model number, device EUI, serial number, signal intensity, battery, and firmware. Please note if there is a firmware update, you'll get a little notification next to the firmware number that allows you to go ahead and automatically pull down that new firmware version. We recommend checking this periodically once a month, once a quarter, to ensure you have the latest software on all your devices. Now real quickly, I'm gonna show you a fast automation you can set up to alert you if you happen to have a Yolink device capable of setting off a siren. So this is great to know if you have a leak detected and your phone's not nearby, you can get a notification and go take action on it. So to do that, we go to the Smart tab, we go to Automation, we click the plus button. So under When, we would set Device Actions, Master Bath, Leak Warning. So anytime there's a leak detected, it's gonna set this off. Then under behavior, we want to go to device actions, siren alarm, start alarm. And then we want this to happen 24 seven, so we'll set always working. So I check that box, so anytime that the system detects a leak and it doesn't actually like shut off the water, it's also gonna set off the siren device, letting you know that there's a problem. This is easily modifiable to do something like flashing a light or turning on and off a device using a smart plug if you happen to detect a leak. The Yolink Leak Stop single channel leak detector is part of the greater Yolink family of water control solutions. The Leak Stop provides targeted protection for specific appliances and fixtures. Whereas the rest of the Yolink FlowSmart family can protect your entire home, this is designed for a specific appliance or fixture. With its ability to function independently, execute automations offline, and seamlessly integrate into your greater smart home, it's a reliable, versatile, and cost-effective way to prevent water damage. It can also save you money by detecting a running toilet that might be in a back bedroom that you would never see normally. So if you're ready to add this powerful tool to your smart home, you can visit YoSmart.com to learn more about the Leak Stop and also explore our other innovative products. We've got links down in the description for this device and all the other ones we talked about today. If you do have any questions or want more information, you can reach out to our support team at YoSmart.com support or email us at support at yosmart.com. Make sure you're subscribed for more smart home tutorials and product highlights. Until next time, thanks for watching.